Hi, it's Mandy from Mindset for Success with today's Mindset Matters. So today, being Monday, I thought I would talk about the topic of being bold. And the reason is um, I was talking to a client last week um, and we were talking about creating confidence and building courage to do things that we might not otherwise do. So the word I picked for her was to be bold. And when we're bold, what we're really doing is it means we're listening to the small voice inside our head rather than all the other chatter that's going on. So I've got a few tips for you today as to how you can start to be a little bit bolder and do those things that perhaps you thought you couldn't do or a little bit fearful of. So first of all, it's really important to know that our brain isn't designed for success and happiness. It's designed to keep us safe. So when we think about doing something, maybe it's um, having an important meeting or that difficult conversation or perhaps taking the next step with our business or a relationship, we, we usually feel a little bit of fear. Yet the best thing to remember is that fear is just a natural emotion as a danger signal because we're going to step outside our comfort zone. And remember, our brain is designed to keep us safe which means it wants to keep us in our comfort zone. So what happens then is we feel this little bit of fear and before we know it, we overthink the situation and we have around 50,000 thoughts a day. And in some of the latest research, neuroscientists have, have discovered that about 70% of the thoughts are not positive. So what we do is we overthink a situation, a decision or an act of being bold. And with all the thoughts, we usually talk ourselves out of it and we build a mental monster as to why we can't do it. So we feel the feeling and then we fuel that, the not great feeling of fear or doubt with thinking that usually pulls us away from what we want to do. So when that happens, we know really that the only way to overcome it is to be bold. So the first thing to do is to stop and just have a little bit of an awareness of all the stuff that's going on in your head, that mental monster, because most of it isn't true. It's just a story you've made up about the worst case scenario, or you have a fear ultimately of being rejected, which is a fundamental fear of humans. So when you've been aware of all that chit chat in the head, you can literally stop and place your awareness on what you actually want to do. What is that bold step that you want to make? The next thing that you can do to help yourself is simply visualize yourself doing this bold act, whether it's a meeting, a communication conversation, or taking the next step in your business, making a decision, visualize yourself doing this over and over again. You see, our unconscious mind doesn't know whether things were yesterday, tomorrow or today. So when you visualize yourself doing something, you're acting as if now. So you're locking in the expectation into your neurology that you have already done this thing. So that's one of the first ways to build a little bit of confidence so you can take that step to be brave. So visualize and mentally rehearse. So go over and over it again in your head and make sure that you're using words that fuel the outcome that you want. So instead of all that negative chatter about why you can't do it or why you feel fearful or you might get rejected, et cetera, et cetera, create a new statement such as, I will take action and I will do this. Our words have great power. So when you can program yourself with words that support what you want to do, you're helping yourself build your belief. So use some powerful words, visualize yourself doing it, simply take a few breaths to calm yourself down while you do your programming, you do your mental rehearsal and you put in your words because when you're at a calmer state, your body isn't fueling stress and anxiety. And if you can do it from this space, you'll realize that you are creating a mental monster and you can probably go ahead and do your bold act. And as one of my clients wrote today, she did a bold thing last week and it wasn't nearly as hard as she thought it was. And I challenge you to consider when you took a bold step and you did it, I'm sure that you said it wasn't nearly as hard as you thought it was because we're just building a mental monster. So when you need to take action and be bold, remember 
It's just your innate hard wiring that is producing the fear or doubt chemical and your self-talk is talking you into not doing it because your brain wants to keep you safe. So just take a few breaths, calm down, look at the chatter, decide to visualize exactly what you want to do, create some words that support your action and the outcome that you want and listen to that little voice inside and go ahead and be bold because once you've done it, you then build your belief and you will be able to build your cushion of boldness so that next time it becomes even less difficult and challenging. So that's my tip to today, being bold. Thank you. It's Mandy from Mindset for Success.